This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-350, regular cab, uh, dual rear wheel, uh, 6.0 turbo diesel. It's two wheel drive. Uh, it has a utility bed. Um, I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you what's happened with this thing. Uh, we bring it in when we first got it. Uh, it gets about a two hour inspection, wheels off. Uh, everything is checked out thoroughly as you'll see in our ads and we discovered it needed rear brake pads and rear shocks which it got and uh, it got a detail and it got a front bumper the front bumper you'll see the before and after pictures the front bumper we were going to keep the way it was but it was just a little too funky so we bought a new bumper it had a big bend in it dent in it or something i don't know somebody hooked it on something uh, so we got a new bumper for it. So that's all brand new front bumper. And you'll see why in the picture so you know it wasn't wrecked or anything. It just it was used as a work truck and it just looked a little too ugly. Now I'm going to have somebody come out here and open up doors for me. I do this video. Tires look like the, all the way around look like they're about 50% tread. Jason is going to help me with the hydraulic lift here. You got to turn the power on and you got to double click the switch. It's pretty fast. So you got a tow hitch and you have the lights there. A rack for a propane tank. storage. Well, you close this up for me. Down low on the driver door, there's a little bit of a dent going on in here. It's not, obviously it's a work truck, so I don't think anyone's going to care. But it's my job to let you know what's happening. I'm going to start this truck, and I'm going to let you, uh, Hear it run under the hood. We're going to be looking for Ford stamps. There's a Ford stamp there. That tells you that's the original fender. There's a Ford stamp right between my finger and thumb. That's original. And of course, the Ford's been fine. There's your stickers where you want them. There should be another Ford stamp. Right there, one right there. So everything under the hood is original. I did notice there is a little dent right here, right behind that door. Again, probably doesn't matter to somebody, but it is my job in these videos to point out the uh, as many of the things as I could possibly find or that we uncover in our inspections. Uh, like I said, when we first get them, we do about a two hour inspection and then we fix what needs to be fixed. We tell you what we didn't fix if there's other stuff. Um, and then when we get it back from detail, we uh, do another inspection uh, to make sure it's okay. Obviously the seat is kind of nasty, but uh, it's a uh, work truck. 
someone's put some rhino liner uh, in here. This is like the spray on vent liner stuff. So you got a hydraulic lift gate. Got some, this is about to tear here. You can buy seat covers, you know, at Pet Boys or AutoZone or whatever, which is what I would do on this thing when this finally gives out. There was a tear right here, and apparently we fixed it. I can tell our mobile guy who does that, did that repair. There's your tilt wheel. That looks fine. Uh, I'm gonna seat belt on here. All right, let's see. That's on. Mileage, 212,172. Let me turn the air on here. Oh, that feels good too. It's uh, 85 today. By, we're going to have our first 100 degree day, they say, on Saturday. Does have uh, unusual for a for a uh, work truck to have tilt and cruise, but it does have tilt and cruise. There's your off on for tow haul. There you go. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, if this this is on a salvage title. On the salvage title, you can't get insurance or plates. So if you want to drive this thing home, uh, we have to take it to get it inspected by the uh, cops here in Tucson. They do a level three inspection, then we get you a restored salvage title with that inspection, and then you can get plates and insurance. Um, so that's mandatory. We charge two hundred dollars to do that for you. Um, Fifty goes to the state uh, for the inspection itself. One hundred fifty goes to us. That covers us having to get up early in the morning to be first there in the morning, and then uh, we're required to stay with the vehicle. So if they have any police duties to do that day, if there's any you know crime going on, they're taken away. Uh, they require us to stay with the vehicle, so we have our guys sit there sometimes for 10 hours staring at it. Um, they used to be able, we used to be able to just drop it off and just charge our buyers uh, 50 bucks, but uh, now it's not so sure. <laughs> so anyway, that's why it's $200. Here's your turbo. This thing runs good. Really good. This is a really good run in 6.0. Um, anyhow, so it's $200 to restore the title. It's a $250 dock fee, and then there's taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 2%, or that, let's say let's say your state tax rate is 3%, and you want to come to Tucson and drive it home, you're going to pay a total of 5% tax. That's your 3 plus R2. $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, all you have to do is pay the agreed upon price. That's it. Um, I strongly suggest you also add $200 to have us restore it before it ships out. Uh, it's a lot easier for us to get it done. But uh, if you decline that, that's fine. Just make sure you can get it done in your state with the uh, Arizona salvage title, the truck itself, and a bill of sale because that's all we can provide you. All right? Um, deposit. Please get your deposit. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, it's for sale. Once we get a deposit, we will put your uh, uh, name in a banner over the vehicle at wheelkinetics.com and it'll be yours. Okay, um, so please make sure you get your deposit in. Let's see. Also, if you're gonna ship, I've been, I haven't had anyone, you know, I've never said this in our videos before, but uh, don't ever buy the cheapest shipping. Uh, we have a guy named Fred from Beacon Shipping Logistics. He's a really good guy. Um, he does our, uh, our uh, shipping for us. His number is in the ad. We do not arrange shipping, but he's, I, we strongly suggest 
if you don't use him, at least you find out if you're getting uh, a good price or a bad price and a good shipper uh, by contacting him, okay? Um, anyway, basically what I'm saying is the cheapest price means the truck will sit here forever. Um, if you pay too much, you're obviously paying too much. You want to be right in the middle, and that's Fred, okay? Um, please just know that that's the case. Um, lastly... Uh, what I'd like to say is that this is not a new truck, obviously, and as such, it's way out of warranty by miles and year. Um, the Ford engineers give it X amount of miles, X amount of years for a warranty for a reason. Basically, they don't know what's going to happen after a certain amount of years, a certain number of miles, and so they uh, end the warranty at that point. Um, the point being, if they don't know what's going to happen to a truck, after a certain number of miles or years, how the heck do we? We don't. Now we can tell you, because we know and because it's common knowledge that ETRs are the problem with these vehicles, uh, the price of doing that repair preemptively is really pretty cheap. Um, this one does, it shows zero signs of having an EGR issue, but all you really need to do uh, is uh, get a bulletproof EGR cooler. They are $525, and then you obviously you need fluids to change the fluids when you do that's about a hundred dollars. It's about it's about six hundred dollars, six and a quarter in parts, and it's about five to seven hours of labor. Uh, I hear of people getting charged, you know, three thousand dollars to do that. It should be a reputable guy can make good money for himself and not screw you for about eh, in between thirteen hundred and fifteen hundred dollars means that the mechanic's gonna make about three or four hundred dollars and you're gonna get a bulletproof EGR now I'm just telling you that so that you know what to expect uh, worst case scenario on one of these things um, that is not the case in this truck right now and it may never be the case uh, but that's we, we like to be upfront with people and tell people what we know okay anyway this is a heck of a little truck it's gonna be uh, priced to sell please make sure you get your deposit in, and thank you for your time